In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package email validator. This is the simple app we're going to build today, where we have a simple text field, then a size box, an elevated button, and then a text widget to tell us whether the entered email here is valid or not valid. So for example, if we enter my name and then press check validity, then you can see email is not valid. But if we further enter mail.com, then you can see the email is valid. If you remove the com here, for example, then press again here, then you can see it's not valid. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package email validator. Click on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Then concerning the layout, I simply built a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. Within this scaffold, we have an app bar and a body. One thing I'm going to mention is that I wrapped this scaffold with a gesture detector so that we have the option to remove the focus from the text field whenever you're selected here. So when we press somewhere else in the screen, as you can see here, now it lost focus. For this, we use this on tap function here, but this is just as a side note. Then concerning the body of the scaffold, as mentioned, we have a text field here, a size box, an elevated button, a size box again, and then a text widget. I defined two global variables. First, a Boolean called is valid and also a controller for our text field. Now I'm not going into details how I made the decorations for the text field. I'm just going to mention that you have to, of course, refer to your controller here within your text field. And then for our elevated button, I defined a custom function called check validity. And first, of course, import the Flutter package email validator. Once that is done, we can actually get the text from the controller here. This trim here just removes the white spaces in front and after the text. And then we can use the email validator dot validate and this returns a boolean and i assign this to our globally defined variable is valid and i'm going to set the state so whenever the button is pressed it checks for its validity and then updates the text here so one more time when we enter some text in here we're going to check the validity and in this case it's valid otherwise if you remove for example the add sign here you will see that it's no longer valid I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.